Hey guys, this is a new one for Blender 2.8 about texture painting with a stencil and alpha for masking. I used the same mesh that I used in the previous part, where we just mapped an image to a particular face of the UV islands, but now I'm unwrapping the whole mesh by using Smart UV Project, which is a bit quick and dirty, but for texture painting, and this is what we are going to do now, it should work pretty nice. But first of all, let's go to the shader editor and define a base color using the principal shader, and this will be the background color of the mesh. Okay, I will stick to this one, and then I duplicate the principal shader, because I want to have a mix of two shaders. I want to have a painted overlay, so I turn this again to white, and the second shader will be the background. So what we have to add is a mix shader node, and then I drag these BSDF outputs of the principal shader to the inputs of the mix shader node. And this is by purpose that the upper one is the second shader in the mix shader node, because the second one is going to overlay the first one. You will see this in action when we add the alpha mask. Okay, but now let's go ahead and turn to texture paint, and now we can add a texture slot. I do this for the base color and I name this yeah, why not, base color. And the resolution I set to 2K, this should be enough. And the back color, and this is important, I set to alpha zero. This means we will have a transparent background for the image. And we need this because we are going to use this as a mask. Okay, let's move on. This is by accident added to the base color input of the second shader. We have to add this to the first one because for this shader we want to paint textures and the alpha output of this node I drag to the factor of the mix shader node. And this means every alpha pixel is masked. We don't see it in the result and we can paint now onto this mesh and this means we are going to paint onto the base color image that we just added. So I'll paint in some white parts just by pressing the left mouse button and have a look at this. This is very interesting. For the parts that we painted, the first shader is used, so when I turn the metallic of the second shader to a higher value, for example, like so, you can see that this doesn't affect the first shader. And this is the great thing of this mix shader node. You can use two shaders or as many shaders as you like, and create kind of layers that you might know, for example, from Substance Painter. So I'll play around now with the settings of these two principal shaders, roughness, metallic, the whole PBR settings, and you can see they are totally independent. Okay, but now we added this ugly paint, but how to remove this? Very simple, you go to your brush and choose Erase Alpha and just yeah, you erase it. Isn't that great? And now you get the idea. We can paint in everything we like. So let's add a texture here to the brush. And I press the button Open to select an image. I created this using Photoshop, a white text on a transparent background. Very simple. And now I move this stencil to this location, then I press the shift key and the right mouse button to scale it up. And now I can go ahead and paint this onto the mesh. Oh, but first we have to set the brush again to mix. And now we can paint this in. Okay, pretty nice. Now I remove this stencil. And then we can adjust the shader settings for this texture that we painted the roughness, the metallic or the specular, as you like. And I would like to paint another texture onto this mesh. And for this, I select the image that we used in the previous part. So I add this as another stencil. I call this TX sign, which is the fire warning. And on the textures tab, I open the image. You can download this for free from textures.com. The link is added to the description. And again, I use this as a stencil and paint this onto the mesh. Very simple, looks pretty good. I remove the stencil again. 
And when you have a look at the texture that we painted, it is very rough. It almost looks like fabric, at least the warning sign, and this is due to the roughness that we defined in the first principal shader. And of course the other settings as well, for example the metalness, but this can be changed and the same is true for the second shader. So go ahead and turn this again to a kind of plastic material. And as you can see, this doesn't affect the first shader, the texture. Okay guys, that's it again. I hope you like this texturing and texture painting tutorials for Blender 2.8. If you do, then don't forget to subscribe to this channel, if you haven't already. If you'd like to support me, then be my patron. This really helps me creating my tutorials. Thanks for this, guys. Thanks for watching and I see you in the next one.